Matt, I'm so glad you're home from college. I've really missed you. It sucks having to do all the chores here myself. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Mom's been bugging you to do the dishes for a couple of years now. No excuses anymore, Lucas. Psh, whatever. Okay, so tell me all about it. How's it been? Do you have a girlfriend? Are there cool parties? It must be so awesome to have all that freedom. Oh, <laughs> for sure. School's been awesome so far. You should have seen the Halloween bash we had at our dorm. It was off the hook. But there's more to it than having a girlfriend and going to parties. There actually is somebody I like. But we're taking it slow and getting to know each other. I knew it. Spill the beans, Matt. I'm getting tired of listening to Grandpa talk about the news all the time. <laughs> all right. Chill out, dude. First of all, I've decided to be abstinent this year. Absta what? Abstinent. It means I'm not being sexually active with anyone right now. I'm abstaining from sexual activity. Really? Not even with the girl you like? I thought the only people who choose to do that were doing it for religious reasons or something. That can definitely be a reason. But there are lots of reasons someone might choose it. For me, I decided to make that choice so I could really focus on my classes. And the girl I like is also pretty focused on school. We both agreed that it would be nice to get to know each other better and chill before we're sexually active. Wait, does that mean you can't even kiss the girl you like? Or, you know, do other stuff? <laughs> well, uh, in our case, we've made out a few times and sometimes we cuddle, but that's it. For the most part, we go out for meals or go to the movies together. There's also a lot of studying to do, so we're pretty busy with that also. Got it. You know, this reminds me, Ben's older sister also decided to be abstinent. But that was because she didn't want to get pregnant or get any sexually transmitted diseases. Yeah, those are also totally valid reasons for making the choice. And sometimes, it's as simple as just not feeling ready to have sex. A person can always change their mind anytime they want. Well, Matt, you've given me some good stuff to think about. I have to admit, though, I'm pretty excited to have sex. <laughs> and that's fine. Remember. Everyone's personal sexual choices are valid and should be respected. So yeah, the word abstain can apply to other non-sexual things too, right? Sure. In that case, can you please abstain from eating all the pepperoni slices? Lucas, it's good to be home. What have I done all these months without your smart Alec comments? Help.